don't know how y'all raise y'all kids, but no son of mine is gonna disrespect me. Kirk Franklin secretly recorded by son as he curses at him. Beware parents, your child is recording you. We have probably all seen the horrific videos going around of parents recording their misbehaving children. Well, not just recording, using their untrained children's IG life to publicly humiliate their own children as a form of punishment. Most times these children would have been spreading it wide and dropping it low on social media, saying vulgar stuff to their followers and themselves in front of whoever is willing to give them the attention. The Mademoiselle here on YouTube has been reacting to these videos and it is very disheartening to see that these parents are so much at their wits end that they think this is the best parenting technique and will let their child stop misbehaving. Most times the parent will be angry at their kid for using bad language or profanity online and whilst they're trying to reprimand their child, you guessed it, they themselves are cursing up a storm. Just like those parents who beat their children for beating other kids at school, wonder what lessons they are really teaching their kids besides let me get a boyfriend and get the heck up out of this house most of the times we're talking about girls here well now we have a child who claims he has been ostracized by his family he no longer lives with them and as he himself will say he old so with his old slash grown self Karen franklin the 33 year old son of kirk franklin decided to record his dad whilst they had a private phone conversation and in this recording which he published you can hear kirk franklin oh yes the kirk franklin cussing his son out in a way i only ever expected to hear in those facebook videos or IG live videos I mentioned earlier. But can we really say we're shocked or surprised? Just a reminder of who Kirk Franklin is, in case you needed it. Kirk Dwayne Franklin is an American choir director, gospel musician, singer, songwriter, and author. He's best known for songs like I Smile, Love Theory, <laughs> Banger, Stomp, 1 through 3 Victory, Take Me to the King by Tamla Man, but he features on that joint and it's an amazing song. Overall, great composer and his song Slap, okay? He has won numerous awards, including 16 Grammy Awards. So now, we're gonna listen to the recording and I'm gonna give my take and point out some things that I haven't heard anybody say thus far. When you're supposed to be filled with the Holy Ghost, can you be cussing like this? Let's get into it. Now somebody knows Kirk talks like this regularly and it is no surprise to them. Did you hear that laugh? I don't know if that's his wife or whoever, but I get the feeling that this is only surprising to us. I did it. He just hung up the phone. I'll break your neck. Is that a threat? So as I'm editing this and the more I'm listening to this, it's becoming more and more disturbing as I'm hearing how Kirk is talking to his son. Don't talk to the child. Whatever you need to do is way better than this <laughs> emotional torture. It is actually terrible. It is terrible. You would, If you wouldn't want other people to hear you talk to your son like that, the way we've now all heard you talk to your son like that, you shouldn't be saying those things at all. I think you should have refrained from every single hurtful thing he said and every curse word that he used because people are normalizing it on social media, but this is not normal. This is not how a father-son relationship relationship should be and if it is not healthy for you guys to be in that relationship maybe it's good for you guys to go apart for a while because if this is the relationship if this is how you guys are with upholding your relationship it's not healthy at all so I just want to preface that before I go into the other stuff that I say I really do not agree with how Kirk spoke to his son let's get that straight but I also think there might be some stuff in the mix with whatever Karrion was doing there is no one-sided conversation like this you are recording all this and you're barely saying anything Karrion and you want us to believe that you're always this meek and you didn't antagonize Kirk before he went in on you. Now, unless this is the first time Kirk was talking to Karen like this and he was absolutely gobsmacked, didn't know what to say, but you have been treated like this often as you yourself claim. So in that case, wouldn't you have gone in as well on your dad? You wouldn't have been gobsmacked because you would have known what to expect. In fact, in an IG post, Karen said that he didn't cuss back in that phone conversation. <laughs> but what was that we just heard over there? Oh, 
Now to you who is judging this man, what if somebody recorded some of the things you say or even think? We are all called to live righteously and Kirk has never claimed he was Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself or that he walked this life blameless and without sin. Does that mean that what he said was okay? Absolutely not. I believe as Christians we should remove this type of language from our vocabulary. God will give you the strength and the wisdom to use other words and still get your point across. Ooh, sometimes even, ooh, you can pep pet them even with the words that you say no cussing involved what would have happened if kirk was recorded calling Kurian out without the curse words or saying hurtful i will never forget my dad spoke to me like this stuff you guessed it the audio would have never been leaked and that's on what mary had a little lamb okay after all we are called to live differently than the world even atheists are sitting somewhere thinking well him and i ain't different then huh but that can't be we don't walk this road with jesus to walk as if we don't now for all you this hurt me deep in my soul Christians out there. Stop idolizing these folk, okay? Kirk is but a man. My trust is in God and not in a man. If Christians started living that way, they would be so much better off. I'm not perfect. I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes and I'm trying to get it right. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. Now, is it right how Kirk spoke to his son? Heck no. Nobody should talk to their child like this. It must have gotten really bad in their relationship for him to be talking to him like that, to get to this point. And we don't know the ins and outs, and we, <laughs> we shouldn't. It's none of our business. Many of you know I have an older son named Carrie on Franklin. In May, he'll be 33. For many years, we have had a toxic relationship with him as a family. We've tried for many years through counseling, through therapy, to try to rectify this private family matter. Recently, my son and I had an argument that he chose to record. The cursing is one thing. The hurtful things he said as a dad to his own child, that to me is actually what shocked me the most. I felt extremely disrespected in that conversation and I lost my temper. And I said words that are not appropriate. I really think he should not be speaking to his child like that. I do not condone that, don't get me wrong. That's absolutely wrong. However, comma, let me tell you what's gonna happen as an aftermath of this. Hashtag Kirk Franklin is over party. Hashtag cancel Kirk Franklin. Oh wait, that hasn't been trending? Yes, because we are not ready to cancel this legend. <laughs> It's hard enough to find soul-filling songs these days, and this man, Kirk Franklin, knows how to deliver on that. With all the nonsense going on in the world, we need this man to keep making soul-uplifting songs. This is the one time I am seeing people almost chant that they will not cancel the artist because they like the art. And it is an overwhelming amount of people swaying that way, and there is no debating. And I am sincerely sorry to all of you. I sincerely apologize. The whole thing should have been kept private and I find it rather shady that we're only seeing one side of Kirk going off whilst his son, who is obviously the only one who knows this conversation is being recorded, is sitting there somewhat composed. Apparently and obviously, there is more to the audio and I am sure Kirk redeems himself there. But of course, that's not the narrative that is supposed to be put out there. I want you to know as a father that during that conversation, I called the family therapist and got that therapist on the phone to try to help. He never played that part of the recording. Now, if Carrion is really being ostracized by his family, he will not see even one penny Kirk Franklin makes, and therefore, <laughs> he doesn't care if his dad goes down the drain with his career. Now, too bad, the world won't let that happen. Your plan failed. Y'all should have gone to Red Table Talk, heck, Yann Lavanzant, or has she already stopped her show? I don't know. Whenever I don't see the full sides to a story, I've got to give it the side eye. This was shady, and you do not do that. In any case, I have a very important message to all parents, because, oh, how the turntables have turned. Parents, beware. Your child is now recording you. Make sure to check out the hundreds of videos I have on this channel and my IGs and Twitter you can see in the top right corner of the screen. Leave a like, comment and subscribe so I can make more videos like this for you. I really want to know what you think about this particular topic so please leave a comment down below. If you're not already part of the family make sure you hit bomb stomp as zone to that subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think, like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you had it. I'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here. In the meantime, take time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do.